span. And they basically just have the PL kill everyone else and then have the uh, other heroes deal with Sven. So people are guessing incorrectly. And this is... Blood, maybe. <laughs> Baited by the bounty road. Uh, I love that, like, more... Four and zero. MP isn't too happy either, 16 and 2. His CS is actually pretty good considering he's getting 1v2 the whole entire time. He might just die for the first time. Oh, they are going to be able to get that extra stun. Bulba, 20-25. QO went for some pretty aggressive mask of madness. Relatively. Bebby's in trouble here. It's going to be double slowed down. They have another stun coming in from Bulba pretty soon. Here, looks for the double stun. He's gonna oh, give up damage. his life for that one, though. Jesus. Print the decrep of cold feet into. Actually, they're gonna go for a dive on the main. Coming in behind this tier one tower. Mason knows he's dead. Not just that, they're gonna be able to get a lot of damage on him. Same time for a dive. So. And, oh, there's a big juicy stack here. Goodness, what the hell is this stack? Oh, DC need to do something about this. I don't think you want to give this up. This Why did DC valuable. stack this up so much? Or was Tidehunter doing it? How the hell did this happen? Meanwhile, bottom lane, they do manage to kill Dubu, but this stack is so much more important than any hero kill. Fortunately, Abed... Drink pop. Start running at the heroes with a war cry. They do manage to get the stun. That's going to be on Moon Manor. See if they can kill him before the Shadow Grave. Not quite. That kill certainly going to be delayed. MP actually starts going on to MSS. Moon Manor's going to be able to heal himself back up behind the tower. Bulba's going to be silenced before he gets off the stun. Drops dangerously low, but it's going to be Boo Boo. Radiance bottom tower. Mortals are ready for this rotation. They still have the. Ravage on Tidehunters, so you can always link in here. Right next to the Yeah, he's gonna be right next to all of them now. There is gonna be the Ice Path, but he actually doesn't get hit high. He's gonna be able to get the double Ravage, see if they can grab both these heroes. They only get Mason off of it. Oh, uh, Bulba turns around, gets the stun off, but still taking a lot of damage, and... He. I don't really think so. I honestly feel like he has more than enough. Just oh, the oh, goes off. What a trap set up by Digital Chaos. QO went for the instant TP, but got stopped. His MSS didn't actually TP out. Stuck around, manages to up QO. Now they might be able to find some extra heroes. Bulba only gets the stun onto Perev and still loses life. MP, nice turnaround there by him. A bit on the front lines. No extra pursuit. An ice blast comes in. Not going to really be able to clip anybody there. Digital Chaos's turn now push down the tower. So saying that Mason's gonna be coming. He does uh well he does have TP, but obviously he doesn't have a chance to be able to TP. Night Stalker. Seven to six. Chaos are still portal Zack. This is what I like to see. The Sven who goes for a blink dagger first before anything else. So, QO. Gonna be ready to fight once the next god strength comes up. Gonna be using the rest of this one to just. Roshan dropping fast and no ravage. Gonna be a bit late for that one. Bulba actually makes his entrance into the fight. He's gonna die for it though. And Digital Chaos are just not in a great spot for this one. But maybe they are. Abed's actually chasing away QO, draining all of his damage. Even if he dies here, he'll still be okay as he does have that Aegis. They're gonna have to lay so much into him just to finish off life number one. And that's why they don't even try. They're gonna lose MP, potentially Dubu as well. Dubu, yep, is gonna go down. It's gonna be QO who gets out of the nasty trio. Rev stuck in the middle of all these heroes with anchor smash time after time. Blowing down the damage, but finally the big daddy arrives. Abed, once again, racking him and stacking him.
This is starting to look really scary for immortals because this razor is. Oh, Febby, what's going on? He's giving a free kill to Bulba. He tried to go for a ward mission and. Immortal suit. Feel safe here. There'll be a big engagement coming up. Double back smoke. Bulba's gonna make his engine. Oh no, Bulba. He loses his life immediately. Now that's pretty typical, but this time around he doesn't actually get off any stun. Moon Meander's gonna die instantly to QO. He managed to get a good time crit. Prevent oh no, that wasn't the four staff. That certainly isn't the four staff at all. QO stuck off on the cliff. He's gonna be able to make his TP out. MP just shy of getting caught by that ice path there. But I've gotta start playing MVP Dota. <laughs> so, you know, he just had to pick up an aggressive initiator for QO. Perhaps going to be jumped on here. They're going to see if they can force out the Ravage, but simultaneously not really get caught too badly. But a really good force staff is going to be able to get Rev onto the other side. Now they're completely surrounding Rev underneath his tier 2. Look at him just kind of poking back and forth. Another force staff backwards. Now he throws out the Ravage. Is there a little bit overextended with the Ice Blast coming in hot? They could do some big time damage here with Abed. Drop it in low oh, and fast. And here comes Q.O. Oh, he hits the big time stun. Cleans up three and might be able to catch Abed as well. He's got to blink up in four seconds time. Much needed S and Y gets a little bit of extra movement speed to Abed, but it's not enough. They're gonna catch him, bring him down as well with no ages. <laughs> Immortals have done it. This game could be anyone's, but DC gonna be looking for to make moves, knowing that the arm is in a ravage. Bring down MSS. We get the ice blast on top of him and a bit of burst damage there. MP. Oh, QO is actually going for Abed at the same time. This is the real fight though, but QO is losing his damage so fast. They do manage to finish out the Beastmaster. Back over to QO. Makes his blink away, but Bulb is hot on his trail. Has the vision from the amplified damage. Slows him down a little bit more, but Abed wants the easier kill on Dubu. Now he'll look for the harder one. Goes for QO again. Bulb has got to stun up in another second. No blink though, because that's going to be stopped by Gush. What is happening, top lane? Tier 3 is almost down. Digital Chaos, you need to get your boys back here and defend real quick. Nice two-man stun. That's going to start things off. MP turns around, though. Sucks Moon Meander dry. Tier 3 down and not stopping as QO was kind of chasing Abed, making sure he can't get the TP back. They may actually have this melee rest. They actually are going to get this. Immortals are probably going to lose both their heroes for this one, but they are full on committing to be able to finish off this melee Rex. MP just running deeper into the base. Decrepify all for another Nether Blast, but Febby's got it in the bag. Yes, they are both dead. Febby, don't even try that TP nonsense. You dumb people just had to like book it to top lane. Just takes that opportunity to take a tier one tower. Now, hopefully he doesn't get caught in the process, or maybe he just kills Bulba and gets uh, so Jesus, a 1400 okay. damage crit, but doesn't have the blink. Has the BKB, but no mana to use the TP. So somebody's got to help him out. And here comes Ferev. He's got the Ravage too, lays it out, but QO has no damage. We can't turn and fight. And Ice Blast is going to be there, but where's the follow up to bring down Abed? It looks like it's just going to be Ferev dying for his allies until QO comes back in. He's got the damage back, cleaves it off the Necronomicon minions. He does end up going down two for two so far Abed's gonna continue to fight this one out and actually dies to MP for staff himself away from the axes and survives a little bit longer until he ends up dying to the burn from Mason Febby looks for the extra kill Mason's so damn low and he's got the void on dude Mason is just gonna be run down here he's got the extra movement speed as long as he doesn't get juked around here he's gonna be able to catch up to Mason MSS gets the extra kill backline though <laughs> Dubu they wrap around here to be able to catch people up on this high ground area, which they are guarding the pit, or even better, on the low ground, the two-man stun for Bulba. Start things off, look at immediately blow up, MP, but now QO Phoenix is here, but oh, he's been stunned up by the Beastmaster, letting the, the Razor be able to get away. Now they're going to try and slow down some of these heroes, does manage to get the Ravage onto four, some of the low ground, some of the high ground, but QO, he's just not getting the opportunity to let out those swings. Bulba gets another stun onto him, he gets the stun onto Abed, but is already dead to the physical damage. MSS in the back lines may end up diving to Febby, but it's definitely Digital Chaos' fight until QO forces the buyback and goes for the kill on Abed, but if he dies here, this could just be Immortals completely throwing the game. He's losing all of his damage, has Amplify up on him, and he gets Rampaged by Abed. Uh, just two lives, and Roshan is theirs for the taking now, with 90 seconds on the clock for the Sven, and maybe even a kill on Fendi to boot. Mason catches him with the Yule Scepter, slows him down. Another Rampage for Abed, because... Of team fighting, it's just comes down to the execution and initiation. And what better initiation can you ask for for DC, right? That was MP and Dubu gonna take.
Jesus, look at this now. Baby's gonna be here. He's got all the vision inside the pit. They can start running at that pit pretty soon. Air's just about, Roshan's about to fall. Abed picks up the Aegis. Bevy just gives his life away. And now Digital Chaos, it's a grab bag. Who else are they gonna be able to get? It looks like they wanna be able to grab Fred before Staff 1. Still not enough to be able to get out of the range of that. Whoa. Check. And God oh, strength pop. the QO. Well, going for it, but his smoke has popped, and he's just blindly blinking in. He's going to go for Mason. Does manage to catch him. Shallow Grave immediately thrown out, and he is going to be Primal Lord. His BKB is going to be wearing out pretty soon, too. There goes the Ice Wall, and Abbott is already right on top of him with the Static Link. QO has nothing to be able to stop this. He's trying to blow up MP next. That was a big healer. Goes back to QO, takes one. He'll take MP as well. Boba slows him down. The Decrep Fly can only last so long, and with all that might in down. Gone with his turn potentially go beyond godlike as they're trying to bring down this tier 3 tower. No buyback. Ben, classic QO. Ran and oh, there's another stun on MP follow-up. They might just be able to take him down. Surrounded with the Yule Scepter. Here comes the Ice Blast. Double Force Staff actually getting away from that little trap that was set by DC. But they'll turn their attention towards Forev. Thank God that was missed. Because Jesus, Abed is racking up the damage. Look at 400 damage, a hit. Jill Chaos will take one lane of wrath. They'll have another 40 seconds. And it is back up. Can they get all three? I think they will be able to with 40 seconds. There's not too much that Immortals can do to slow this down. They don't exactly have the greatest of turtling. So I think this might be negative. I won't say it's over, but... The catch on MP. MP. I mean, if MP dies, surely it is over. Another decrep fight for Staff galore. Get him out of the range of Abed. Immediately back to taking objectives. Now with just 10 seconds left in the swap, they look towards that last lane of Rax. We've got an extra 94 damage on Abed. Oh, for a lot quicker. Another 10 seconds for our Night Stalker, though he's a minor character. Fight. Digital Chaos are going to give respect. QO and Ben is going to back away, hoping not to get caught by Fareb. And oh, Febby. He's going to get caught on the Febby, who TP'd onto the Shrine. Now there's the follow-up from QO. Managed to catch Moonman. They need much, much more. For Immortals, have a chance to come back. Oh, MSS gets just ahead of that one. But there's the Old Scepter to be able to stop, stop that TP. They ignore him and stop Mason's TP. Well played by Febby, maximizing the amount of catch. QO is going to come in and finish off MSS, making it three heroes. They end up dropping from Bleak S2, but especially since they do it so quickly. Look at him, it's already dead. Digital Chaos are going to get there a tad too late. Now, they, like they are going to fight. try and catch something here. They are going to be able to catch Bevy here. Four staffs go to... Oh, no! Oh, a total no. win for Forev! But a two-man stun! No! Abed gets off the BKB first. They're trying to chop down Bulba, but he already has the Shallow Grave on him. Bull stun's already used, and now QO starts getting kited what around. An ice path. This is the disaster! This is the nightmare for Immortals! Um, oh, Forev, he's trying to dish out whatever damage he can. He actually kills... Oh, my God. He actually killed one, and QO got up the cliff. They're going to pop the Shrine, and Forev... He's got the cheese as well. What? Oh. There's also the anti Sven Razor pick. A lot of work for so far. Mortals oh, are in quite the awkward position. They're going to be able to get the Ravage onto two. Second Ravage stopped by the Ice Path. Rev not going to be able to get that one off. I bet holding on to his BKB for the time being. Here comes QO Sven, but a little bit late to the fight. He gets on a Mason. Decrepit fight goes out. He doesn't have anything to swing on. Now starts going for Abed, who does not have a static link, so can't take away the damage of QO. Now a buyback from Mason onto the Necronomicon. Tier 3 starts trying to catch some of these heroes with the Shivas, unable to do Middle tower. No, <laughs> if you only kind of wanted to win. What's the, if I only kind of wanted to win. <laughs> If that was the Mason case, I would Oh, Mason. and Mason is dead. Oh, maybe not. The Shell Grave's going to come through. Now they do have the Ice Blast over that hero, so he's definitely dead. Moon Meander won't be able to heal him up. MSS, the back line's actually being taken out by MP. A nice two-man stun. They need to get QO out of here, but he's already dead. Abed, finish him off. MP still dealing with the back line heroes, though, but can't save himself. Or maybe can to Crepify and all that heal. Abed's getting a ton of Midas armor onto it, but he can't deal any of the damage. He's down. He has a buyback. MVP, or sorry, Immortals, play right here. They're just going for it. Thrown already down to half HP, and they've got the Ravage up. Ready to go. Forever lets it go. He, no, QO. Oh, QO is just hitting it. He's ignoring the heroes. 
Screw that. I'm taking the throne, boys, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> Immortals will take game number one. You have to. Against Digital Chaos. This wasn't how we...